so much. Ah, uh, get real. Yes, thanks so much. And welcome to a Friday night and tonight live. And, uh, and right off the bat, I've got to say, look, we were going to not mention the drama in Perth again, you know, because it's been ongoing. But, you know, how can you not mention it when it's so piss funny? You know, the whole death funeral thing. I mean, OK, for old Langy's in there and they've had, let's see, what have we got? The, the multi-funerals, the squabbling, the live cross from the midday show, that's good taste. The 60 minutes story coming up later on in the show, I promise to have exclusively all of Rose Hancock's tour dates that are gonna be happening all around Australia. It's enormous, isn't it? It's just, I, I get very excited by the whole thing. I mean, in all this hugger mugger, has anyone thought to just ask, look, when he first started going under, did anyone try the kiss of life? <laughs> I get a feeling Lang's last words might have been, I'm getting better. Oh, no, come on. <laughs> We've got a lot to sell. Come on, on your bike. It's a bit ugly, isn't it? Still, never mind. It is pretty good for a laugh. And it's turning huge. I mean, the only, you, could, you could make it bigger. You could turn it into World Series funerals, I think. Well, all that was missing was Big Daryl Eastlake commentating the actual funeral. <laughs> well, look out, the old guy's in. <laughs> He's been slotted in, there he goes. Actually, there was a nasty incident as Tony Gregg had to be forcibly restrained from whacking his keys into the casket, <laughs> trying to check the comfort meter. <laughs> Apparently it wasn't all that comfortable, funny enough. No, but it's all over now, I guess, sadly. So, you know, have a thought. The ashes have been scattered over Western Australia, so if you're doing the washing this weekend and it's all wet and you get a bit of a speck on it, just think, oh, Lang. You know, there you go. <laughs> just, you know, put it in your mind. Just let it drift through there. What else has been happening? Well, oh, of course, Amazingly, politics has managed to push its way back into the comedy stakes again. It had been a couple of days, you know, you might have seen this. Did you see Dr Houston in Parliament accusing the ALP right of being mafia links? Oh, come on, I think that's a little strong, isn't it? You know, sure, Don Pauly loves his Italian suits and Kim Beasley loves his pasta. But let's face it, the mafia is organised crime. <laughs> now spot the word that's different to the government. That's right, the O word, organised. And I'll tell you something else about the Mafia. It doesn't operate at a loss. No way it's running our government. It's true though, isn't it? And of course, Don Pauly responded in the, in the traditional manner, you know, as the traditional parliamentary cries were going up, fight, fight, fight. Don Pauly's, you know, he's taken it well. He said, step outside, just come back, it's on. You know, Dr Houston's gone, ah, you'll never get me, you'll never get me. And, and, and what kills me is Paul Keating's busy saying, no, nah, look, you have lowered the public esteem of parliament. Nah, just confirmed it for my money. It's only what we'd expect. But the big news, the best news of the whole week, I reckon, is that Mills and Boone are going to start using an Australian hero in their romantic novels. Don't know, did you guys see this in the paper today? This is absolutely true. They're finally going to use an Australian hero because the Poms have this bizarre image of us. You know, they're sort of lean, tanned, dark, penetrating eyes. No. <laughs> And it's going to be an Australian romantic hero. Can you just imagine what it's going to be like? The first book is a sensitive tale of first love called Hop in the Back of the Ute. And <laughs> <laughs> just know it till the bomb's their truth. I think we're going to make millions out of this. In fact, if that sells, look for the big follow-up. Look, can't stay, got to go tell my mates. It's going to be huge. I can see this. The corner of the romance market. In a thunderous end of the week, we've got a big show lined up, so let's get it started. And here's the latest news with Naomi Robson. Thank you, Richard. Thank you. Good evening. First tonight, Queensland swimmer Kieran Perkins has smashed the world 400-metre freestyle record at the Australian Championships in Canberra. Perkins in lane three smashed half a second off the world record completing the race in three minutes 46.47 and making him a triple world champion. He also holds the 800 metre freestyle and 1,500 metre short course records. It's Perkins by two body lengths, about 10 metres to swim. Kieran Perkins coming in, he'll touch first by quite a mile. World record. In, in a world record Woo. five. He's elated. He's got 46.47. With about 75 to go, I heard the crowd getting a little excited. And uh, the last time I didn't respond to the crowd, I missed a record by two seconds. So I decided to give it a shot. And I can't believe it. Rose Hancock and her stepdaughter, Gina Reinhardt, held separate memorial services for Lang Hancock today. But for Rose, there was a slap in the face. Her daughter, Joanna, attended Gina's wake. Widow of just one week, 
Rose Hancock arrived in style at a mass for her late husband. A few hundred friends waited for her inside Perth's St Mary's Cathedral. Across town, a bigger crowd was forming. This was the one the politicians and dignitaries chose. This was Gina Reinhardt's farewell to her father. It was also the ceremony that Rose's own daughter, Joanna, chose to attend, highlighting the widening rift between mother and daughter. Both gatherings were sombre affairs. Occasionally, Rose would dab at tears, but held her composure. As the lineup of guests would testify, Australia had lost a great man, a great contributor, but whose memory is being sadly overshadowed by family squabbling. The most notorious crime boss since Al Capone is facing the prospect of spending the rest of his life in prison. Don John Gotti was found guilty of murder and racketeering in Brooklyn. He was known as Teflon Don because the police couldn't make anything stick to him and he ran the Gambino crime family for seven years. But when Gotti's underboss Sammy the Bull Gravano turned state's evidence, they scraped away the Teflon. The most damning evidence that Gotti was a mob boss came from his own mouth. Today another milestone in the fight against organized crime. The Teflon is gone, the Don is covered with Velcro, and every charge in the indictment stuck. He didn't win fair and square. He played a game that he didn't play fair and square. My father, my father is the last of the Mohegans. They don't make men like him anymore, and they never will. There's been a 10-car pileup in Melbourne, but it's not a traffic accident. The cars were all deliberately crash-tested as part of a proposal to toughen Australian safety standards in cars. All 10 family sedans were crash-tested, driven into a 90-ton concrete block at 40 kilometres an hour. Among the devices the researchers are checking are airbags and belt tensioners to hold passengers closer to the seats. Road deaths are at an all-time low in Australia, but the researchers say these innovations could further reduce the toll. And fortunately, this was also just a test. But with the tragic LaGuardia crash less than a month ago, the mock-up was frighteningly real. Volunteers acted as victims aboard one aircraft, while fire crews tackled a blaze aboard another. Real passengers on real flights were forewarned that what they would see on takeoff was only an exercise. Airport emergency crews declared the disaster a success. And that, Richard, is all our news. Thanks, Naomi. You'd be feeling good if you're waiting to get the next flight out. I know. You're just I gazing know. out the window going, oh, what are they? <laughs> What's on for your weekend? What have you got coming up? Uh, not a lot, although I have my brother's birthday tomorrow. Beautiful. And, and how is it traditionally celebrated in the Robson household? <laughs> With a video and a couple of beers, actually. That's what we do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Party animals. What excitement, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> We're going away. When we come back, Corey Hart, Viewer Facts, more stuff live throughout Australia. This is it. <laughs> yes, very nice, Scotty. Very casual. Very, oh, I'm just caught reading. Uh, we have something that we like to call Viewer Faxes, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is a press release that's come across from Millsy in Perth, Western Australia, and you've got to trust any press release that has Millsy's name at the bottom of it. Apparently Mark Knopfler is leaving Dire Straits, and Chris Rear is replacing Mark as the front man for the band. Have a, Mark owns the rights to the name Dire Straits, therefore the new name of the band will be Diarrhea. Thank you, Millsy, for that. <laughs> Dear Stubbsy, could you please wish the Surfers Paradise Lifesavers good luck at the Aussie titles this weekend from all the crew there? Yes, certainly get out there and, uh, you know, put your, put your togs up. Yeah, watch out for the chafing. Um, so, hi, Stubbsy. Send your facts for no other reason than to say thanks for bringing the mainland to Tassie. Great show. Keep it up from Barry and Barb at the Holiday Lodge in Launceston. How are you there? Lovely. Now the power's on. You're getting all the lights and colour you can like. That's terrific. <laughs> Uh, hi, I just wanted to let you know it's my girlfriend's birthday tomorrow. She's in the audience tonight. Oh, yeah. Sharon Wolfman? Sharon, are you here? Yeah. Did we just put that up? Yeah? It's your birthday tomorrow. Oh, put your hands together for Sharon and her birthday. Would you be fun? <laughs> hey, Sharon, what are you going to get? What are you getting for your birthday? I don't know. You don't know? You haven't done a wish list? 
Really? Surprise. I can't believe it. That's a, such a maniac. I mean, don't you ride through the house going, gling, 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 you know, trying to give them the idea? No, nothing? No. What do you think Brad's going to give you, the guy who sent the vaccine? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Is that Brad next to you? Yeah. Oh, Brad, you sly dog, mate. <laughs> You know how to show a girl a good time. Well done. Happy birthday for tomorrow. Meanwhile, you know, Stubbsy, what has 24 legs is black and crawls sideways. I don't know either, but there's 10 of them crawling across the ceiling. Yeah, hi, James, the old Bundy going down well on a Friday night. Nice. <laughs> Glad you could still push the buttons there, good buddy. Nice to have you out there. What do we got here? Uh, so do you know that... You, uh, oh, here we go. Who's... Um, is Robert Ward? Robert Ward here? Robert? Robert, we've got a fax here that says that you met a girl at Billboard and you put an ad in the paper to meet her. Is that true? I never actually met her. I just wanted to meet her. You're kidding. <laughs> you saw some girl in a bar and you put an ad in the paper to say... It. That's it. So what was she wearing? Who was she? What was she? Do it now. What was she wearing? Who was she? Oh, well, she was blonde. Yes. She had long legs. It's a bit cliche, isn't it? Okay, okay. <laughs> what, what was she wearing? Do you remember? Black dress, black boots, okay. beige jacket. Okay, what impressed you about her? What was the, what was the one thing that made you go to all this trouble? Um, well, she had nice legs. Uh... Great, Rob, I can sense nice. the... <laughs> thanks, thanks. I think I can see where you're heading on this one. OK, how does she get in contact with you if she's seen you and she's not gagging or anything? How? Yeah, yeah. I'll put another ad in the paper. All right. OK, <laughs> we'll follow... For Robert Ward, if you do it, it's on your own head. That was what we like to call Viewer The facts is, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Gotta stop looking up in that light. Our first guest tonight has had a string of nine consecutive hits in the US, including his smash hit Sunglasses at Night. He's currently in Australia for a promotional tour, and I am delighted, ladies and gentlemen, to say he's with us tonight. Please welcome Corey Hart, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Corey, great shirt. Hey. Great yeah. shirt. Where'd you get the shirt from? Oh. I don't know, actually. My wife bought it for me. Your wife bought your shirt? Yeah, I'm not a good shopper. Are I don't think shopper? men are. No, I don't think men are good shoppers. I think it's because we're more primal. What is that growing out of your shirt, actually? This? No, yeah. this is... My wife's just learned applique stitch. Uh. <laughs> and, and she just, you know, she, she, it's a new one for her and she likes to practice. It looks like an erotic jalapeno or something. I know, I'm sorry, that last word was? <laughs> you speak Spanish? Oh, so it was Spanish? Oh, yeah, thank yeah, goodness, because yeah, I thought it was Spanish. more gynecological. Yeah, you thought it was Canadian or something, right? Yeah, I thought yeah, it was a Canadian yeah. joke. Now, you speak Spanish as well, don't you? Yeah, you Why speak... don't you just say hi to all our Spanish viewers? Bueno, ¿cómo estás? ¿Dónde ahí? Bueno, toda la gente, ¿cómo estás? Es Cory Hart aquí en Australia y qué más, no sé. Something about what your good mate Richard's wearing. <laughs> este hombre se llama Ricardo, ¿eh? Eh, hey, uh, Ricardo that? Stubbs. <laughs> See, it works beautifully. I could be Spanish. So uh, your wife chose this shirt, did she...? Uh, she chose the pants, she chose the boots. Really? Yeah, she chooses everything. But that's because I think guys just shop because, like, we shop on a different level, don't you think? I mean, we yeah. just go cold, need coat, yeah. fine coat, warm. See? <laughs> you know, I, it's, it, the fashion and style doesn't come into it, I think. I just wear, I'd wear the same, you know, I'd wear the same pair of jeans and the same uh, T-shirt. I, I change my underwear every once in a while. Do you? But, yeah. yeah, I meant to ask about that. How are you on socks? Because I always feel they're a bit far away to really um, worry about. I don't, yeah, I don't wear socks. You don't wear socks? Mm. Yeah. Aren't raunchy kind of guys supposed not to wear underwear? I, I don't know that you're not supposed to wear socks. I'm not really interested in what raunchy guys want to wear. Oh, come <laughs> on, man. In your quiet heart of hearts. No, Richard, that's your problem. Mm, okay. All right, so you, you've touched on the raunchy uh, aspect. How's one. the kid? How's the kid? Yeah. Kid's loud, thank you. Is that? He's going to be, he's going to be voted <laughs> kid most likely to have a black heavy metal T-shirt by age of six. <laughs> He's already putting his fist in the air. You know, he's got, he's got the Fender amp. Yeah, he has, he has got mm. the Fender amp. How place. old is he? He's, uh, well, oh, well, let's see, in all the weeks I've been a father, he'll be uh, seven weeks. Seven out. weeks, and mm. he's already crashing out the guitar stuff. Oh, yeah, plays, he knows three chords. What are those over there? Which, mate? The what lollies? Are, what do you call them? These? Yeah. They're lollies, they're jelly beans. Do you get out much, Corey? <laughs> <laughs> Look, here, what happens is you eat them and they taste like sugar, but really? sort of really? flavoured as well. Do you want to try one? Uh, um, Come on, you can. Why do you call them lollies? Well, I'll tell you later once you've had a couple. You were never in the Scouts, I take it. <laughs> Are these set? Oh, nothing. Trust me. It's gum, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gum. Sure it is. Later, w later, when you wake up in your hotel room, you'll remember nothing. Now, <laughs> hey, speaking of remember nothing... They're what? terrible. Yeah, of course they're terrible. They've been there two years. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, thanks. <laughs> oh, my gosh, look. Look what Merv's done over there. <laughs> um, hey, tell us about, about travelling. What was that like? 
Because you've uh, just, you know, done an, uh, Asia and India. What was that like? Is that fun? I got really sick in Delhi. I had Delhi belly. You're kidding. I find mm. that hard to believe. Yeah, it's, it's, it makes the mind boggle. Yeah, 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 really. And how did you do that? What, was it something Well, I ate the wrong curry, obviously. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah and when you say really sick, how sick is really sick? Well, put without it detail, way. without the graphic spinning visual multicolor detail. Think of Linda Blair. Whoa. <laughs> the head spinning thing. Pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Gee, you must have been attractive to be in the room with. How does your wife stand this? Uh, well, we just got married. Actually, it was our honeymoon. So. Oh, you lie like a rake. Uh, You've been married for twelve years. No, no. We were we were teenagers. Uh, obviously, at one point in my life, I was a teenager. Uh -huh. But we we met. It's um, a phase. Yeah, we we met. Uh, we met in high school. Wow. We met in high school. She said that I was uh, Han Solo, who I didn't know at the time who she was talking about. Do you know who Han Solo is? Yeah. yeah. And they really believe you on the Han Solo thing too. Can you pick that vibe? Yeah. Erica, she's right over there. Oh, really? You can't see her, yeah. Oh, just as well. Yeah. She's now cringing. So what did she say to you? You look like Han Solo, but you could do with someone who could really dress you well. Uh, yeah, she thought I was uh, a young Harrison Ford. I didn't know who he was, because it was, like, obviously, it was 77 or 78, and I didn't know who he was. So I went to check out the movie, um, and then I realized I didn't look at all like the guy. And, and you still uh, went out with her? Yeah, well, I actually, I pursued her, and she kind of gave me a hard time. She wasn't really interested in me. Really? Yeah. Well, how did you ma manage to finally get a date with her? What did you say? Well, we went out on my birthday, and... Uh -huh. uh, you asked a girl out for your, on the first date for your birthday. Well, the story was... Trying to get a present. Is that what you're angling for? <laughs> How flimsy was this? Well, why did I come to the show? Because, oh, you know, you were bored. You had nothing to do. You were at home. I heard you're an uh, economics major. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. You good with numbers? No. No? No, I'm an Australian economics major. Uh... <laughs> Tish, boom. So anyway, yeah, tell you know us about, what, you, tell I, us about I feel, your birthday. I feel like I'm setting this guy up for one-liners. No, no, yeah, no, yeah, no. You can do them too. Go yeah, on, no. leap in. Uh, Whatever yeah. you feel the urge. Okay. Tell us about your birthday date. This is big. My birthday? Yeah, May 31. Yeah, no, I mean, not the actual date. I mean, when you took your wife out, you know, and you got the present. That yeah, one. Yeah, we're going to talk about age here? Oh, yeah. If you, <laughs> all right, if you want to. Yeah, no, it's okay. I don't want to. Oh, okay. Um, well, so what did, you, what did your wife give you on that first date? Chat and VTR insert. Sorry. Um, actually, what happened was is her sister took me out. Because basically, as a teenager, I really just stayed at home and, and tried to write songs when I was like 16, 17. Uh -huh. And uh, she, she took pity on me. So she took me out for my birthday. You were a nerd, weren't you, Corey? Y you could say I that. mean, I'm putting all this together. You couldn't dress. You sat at home by yourself writing songs. What you were a nerd a, when you were in high a, school. A dag, right? A dag. Yeah. You're a dag. Your yeah. record company been teaching yeah, you Australia. Bl bloody oath, right? Bloody oath, yeah. <laughs> okay, I think we'll deal with this. Yeah. We're gonna, when we come back, we're going to make Corey sing for his living. We're also going to chat to Anne Marie Biggins live down in Australia. Yes, welcome back to the lollies of death. Um, this is what Corey was attempting to talk about, but we never did get to, but we will later on. This is Attitude and Virtue. This is, what are you muttering about? This is, this is his fabulous album that you can rush out and buy and make him fantastically wealthy so he can buy his wife Erica fabulous presents instead of the normal trash. Now, <clears throat> we'll get him to actually work. So would you please, well, he's gonna perform his new single, Baby When I Call Your Name. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Corey Hart. Ladies and gentlemen, dragging back to chat again in a moment. You know, friends, there are some pretty dangerous jobs in the television industry. Reporting wars in remote areas of the world, live actuality reports from hostage-type situations. But all of these pale into insignificance against the job our next guest has. She spends her working life with agro. Please welcome Anne-Marie Bigger, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Vision in hot pink, looking I fabulous. Know. Do you like it? I it really is. like this. Yeah, it's very nice. Is that a new one, Doc? No, this isn't. This is this is not a new one. This old thing, because this old thing, yeah. You haven't had much time because you've only just uh, jumped off the plane from Fiji. Haven't I you? did yesterday. We got off the plane from Fiji. Yeah, we've been there with Cartoon Connection, and um, it's good. When, it's good when we go away because last year we went to uh, Los Angeles, and every uh -huh. time we go away, we give a trip away. So this time around, it's a big Viva holiday. So although I heard you caused an international incident at oh, the airport, no, I really don't want to talk about that. I'll Come get in on, trouble. it's been in all the press. No, oh, no actually, we got to the airport. And because we're a children's show, uh, 
when we left Australia, they said, no, 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 look, you don't need a visa to sort of get in there. Just chuff on in there and have a good time. Sure. And we get to the airport and they said, oh, no, you can't come in. So we sat in immigration for about three and a half hours and uh, finally they let us through and, and we did our show. It was something it was you said, wasn't it? Well, I think it was a photo of my passport more than anything. Sort of, oh, like oh, no, this sort not going to let you in. Then they caught sight of what was in the bag, realised it was this is the other host, the little puppety thing, and said, no, no way, no. <laughs> no, we left him at home, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. So you've done the whole Fiji you, stuff yourself? No. What are you using? A coconut? Yeah. <laughs> Be nice to me, OK? OK. No, um, we, we sort of leave him at home because it's a bit tough. I mean, could you imagine getting him through customs? Mm. Imagine what yeah, they do to him. Yeah. Yeah, no, no. Well, no worse than the fat guy behind the couch does to him. Let's Stop think it, about okay. it. For a just the whole off. hand thing and never mind. Now listen, um So what were the Fijians what did they think of your show? Because they um, they would have taken them a little bit by surprise seeing really you in full it. flight. Yeah, they really liked it, but the thing is um my surname is bigger and when they get to, when you get out of the airport they go bulla and I go, No no no, bigger and they go, Bulla, no no no, I'm sorry, it's bigger, you know, like this and then I realised that bulla means hello, so I felt really this big. Sort it could of. have been worse. Did they tell you what bigger actually means? No, I'll get out oh, of it. Sorry. Okay. I know where you live, okay? <laughs> now you're clutching something, not for security, I... but because the Royal Sydney show is coming yeah, up. Yeah, the Easter show is happening in Sydney and this is me. This is the Anne Marie doll. Is there an Anne Marie show bag? <laughs> Can I have one of them? It'd be nice. Hey, to come on. I'm but perfect. they're bendable. You know, See, you can do all sorts of things with them and bend them. I mean, <laughs> I mean you can... <laughs> no, you're right, Amir. They can't. And they look like you. Stop it. They do actually... They've got your hair. There's a story behind these dolls. Because I'm sure there is. They're actually, they're actually from another country. and when They're actually when... from another planet, <laughs> if you ask me. Now, when they came over... <laughs> Don't you hit my doll? Just, OK, ready? Right, OK, it. here we go. Um, when, right, when we got the um, prototype, they actually had really long hair and they had blue eyes. And I said, mm, I don't look like that. So we had to send them back over to where they came from and about 50 little people sat in a line cutting their hair and painting their eyebrows. Hey, you're right. Look, it's brown. blue underneath this. Stop it. Yeah. <laughs> don't pick them what, what other things are in your ridiculous okay. show bag? No, I can't believe this. this. Is, this does it sell many? many? Give us a look at the does. front. It does. Actually, we sell Oh, how nauseous. Look at that. You look like Princess Di. Look, it's all pink oh, and happy. Is. It's been airbrushed pretty well too, so. Yeah, um, nice. And actually, no, we do the Sydney, the Melbourne, the Adelaide and the Perth show, and the Brizzy show. What's too. in them? Oh, you get lots. Of, it's a real girly's little bag though, not for really? you. Well, okay. I don't know. I've, I've put wrong stuff in here. Well, they get like a makeup bag, okay, and they get, do I have to do this? No, you can just tell me. Oh, what, what, what's get, the best thing apart from the dolls? Oh, oh they get a, a poster of me. <laughs> is there a little boy doll or is there, is there like a boy doll thing? But I can guarantee... No, there's no boy doll. Oh. Actually, it was rather... Is there no boy doll in your life? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> no, Ken. What about a little um, dream house or a, some actually, leisure wear I, I or really something? I really want to have the family truck star. I want to get that. I want to get that. And I want to get the, uh, uh, the swimming pool and the slide. And what else do I want? I want... This is really sad. Oh, no. <laughs> You're talking about career aspirations for the doll that's in your show bag. Get out of it! And, um, <laughs> Good comeback, Emery. Good comeback. Uh, Get out um, of it. Okay, I'm blonde, all right. Now, <laughs> the other thing. Yeah, I do. Okay. The other thing was, um, Agro actually has. Me we have the Channel Seven bag and my bag and the Agro bag all on the one stand at the at the show near the Triple M stand. So Beautiful. we go down there. And the other thing is, Agro has like a um, inflatable doll. And I is this a personal thing that you should be telling everyone? <laughs> yeah. Okay. And I was standing at the show one day because I'm I'm there at the show because I sign the autographs and hey, We've got the image. and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, this guy rocks up and he goes, "Oh, have you got any inflatable Anne Marie dolls?" I was, oh, no, you know like that. <laughs> I got really embarrassed. So I'm then thinking, again, then again, you know, don't knock it back. Richard it could be a big Dane. seller. I'll talk to you about it, and we'll go. We we'll come back, Georgina Dennehy, who possibly has been playing the role of herself. Welcome back. Good taste has nothing to do with it. Sitting here with Anne Marie, Corey's rejoined us. Corey, beautiful mic technique during the song. Yeah, I'm a brilliant guy, aren't I? Well, you know, it wasn't your fault. Hey, a little bit of gaffer tape there would have yeah. stuck the world together. You know, it's not lip syncing, right? Exactly. That's right. right. And it yeah. Exactly right. right. It really does. Yeah. Now, let's just gratuitously mention this uh, attitude and virtue. Corey's new album, Rush Out and Bite. Thanks, we've done that now. You can do it again if you want. No, we'll, we'll uh, do it later. Okay. You've got a song there about Madonna. Uh, is it, do you have a special relationship with Madonna? We we're real close. What do I, I heard that. Yeah, yeah. Is that true? Uh, no, actually, I went to um, 
we talked about India and the curry problem, uh -huh. but sure. uh, we went, uh, went on this trip to China and to India, and, and I couldn't believe that everywhere I went, all people wanted to talk about was Madonna. Really? And, and, yeah, every, every place we went, there were like photographs of her and her music and, and Madonna wannabes, and so the song's called She's Everywhere. Pretty much, pretty much sums it up. It I certainly have does. Too. Do you yeah, have that? Yeah, Everyone in Australia, oh, yeah. people are talking about Anne Marie. Did you see what she did? I can't believe she does that for a living. And uh, also, speaking of close friends in the high and mighty, because you've got you've got your intellectual, uh, your high flying entertainment friends. So is Corey. Yeah, yeah. What do you do actually? Because in Canada, we don't get your show. Obviously. Oh, thank you. Yeah, goodness. what do you do? Why um, don't you explain it to him? I do a children's show with a puppet called Agro. Oh, actually, I aggravation. Say yeah, well, yeah. yeah. Funnily enough. Very yeah. much so. Yeah. Um, Why would you do that? Oh, I, actually, I've asked myself that many a time, but I think it's just the paycheck, maybe sometimes. But no, oh, yeah. he's really. So cute. you're a mercenary. Right? He, he's a, he's a. Bit don't like, take this from him, Emery. Don't answer the question properly. Go into him. Come on, didn't you watch me at all, Susan? But not hit him. As soon as he goes, you, you, you say something like, "Oh yeah, right, buddy," and you're a singer. You know, go him, go him. Okay, I've got one for you. You're ugly, and your mother dresses you funny. No, see, no, no. Oh man, where was the cleverness? Where was the where was the lead? Where was the oh? We've I got to talk. <laughs> Corey, uh, actually, tell me what you do then. You, you... Oh, so, yes, I do. Sorry, Excuse Richard. Me. No, no, you go for it. Go for um, it. I do a children's show, a morning children's show that goes right round Australia with with the puppy. Right, you could right be on it if you like, Corey. You could. Yeah, don't hit me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's just this awful. What's wrong yeah, with this one? I, I know. Well, hey, you started it. Don't do, push it. She do could get ugly. The, do you beat the puppet? Do I smack the puppet? Oh, I do worse things to the puppet than smack him. And I think that's a good cue for us to get out of this. Our next guest will be representing Australia at this year's Miss Universe Quest. Get me a whip. She's just back from America and she's leaving Australia soon to compete in the pageant. Please welcome Georgina Dennehy, ladies and gentlemen. Now, have you met Corey and Marie? Yes, we're having a chat. She lives down the road from me. Oh, really? Yep. Mm. We know the same people. Yep. Now, Georgina, you're all excited to heading off for the, the big one. I can't wait. I leave in about two and a half weeks, and the pageant's being held on the 8th of May. Wow, it's exciting, isn't it? It is. Now, are you a morning person? I ask this because, of course, the pageant's being done at 8 in the morning to tie into prime time uh, in the US. Well, actually, I think it'll be better because usually if it is held at night, the whole day you're doing rehearsals uh -huh. and um, dress rehearsals and stuff like that. And so by the time the pageant comes around, you'll be so tired and you just won't be thinking straight. So it'll be good. So this, I don't nice think so. Fresh. Eight in the morning is never good. So that, but this is so weird. What do you actually have to do in the pageant? We I mean, the walking to... thing with the number and stuff? Yes, we do a production. We have to sing and dance. Oh, no, how cringy. I know. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I'm not sure yet. We all get the same song that we have to all sing together. So You're we won't kidding. be singled out, which is good because I can't sing. Oh, yeah, good call. And uh, what else? <laughs> Watch the mic technique when you sing. Yeah, take tips oh, from that Corey. Yeah, that whole mic thing, is he's got down. He's a professional. <laughs> so what else do you have to do? We also have to go and uh, go to a lot of the tourist places in Bangkok and just mm. film in our swimsuits and stuff like that. So the swimsuit section is back in? That's right. The controversial is. swimsuit makes an appearance. That's Excellent. right, because Catalina is the main sponsor, Catalina Swimwear. Oh, yeah, so I guess they'd want to see you in the frocks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now... Speaking of the outfits, uh, one that I, I was reading through all the brief and one that frightened me enormously, uh, the national costume segment. It's Always great. a bit of a tricky one for Australia. You are wearing, according to this, a bushwalker's outfit. Knee socks, long yes. shorts, a cobra hat, billy No, they're short shorts. Oh, they're short shorts. Yeah. Well, no, that makes all the difference. <laughs> Listen, was the person drunk when they suggested this outfit to you? It, it's great on. You should see it. I've got the long hiking boots right. and the socks. Khaki shorts, the khaki shirt, a great big canvas backpack with a billy hanging off the back, and a lantern, the mosquito net, a uh, mosquito repeller. It, it repeller, smells of eucalypt to me. And I have a beautiful koala. Yeah, actually, I happen to have your beautiful koala here with us. He's Look, cute. there he goes. I'll show you how he works. Okay. Oh, right, he works? Oh, well, he's a puppet, but. Uh -oh. oh, it's like Agro! He is. <laughs> Not as obnoxious. Should, I don't want to rain on your parade or anything, but are you seriously no. getting up in the Miss Universe with a bit of a I'm puppet going, good evening, ladies and germs? No, look. Oh, oh cute. So you're going for the old sympathy thing. The old cute thing. That'll work. Yeah, that's, that's a great right. ploy. That is a great ploy. It's really cute, though. Wait to, and you could do it. such great things with it, because you know what their reputation's like. If you start losing, let the koala have its head. You know, it can oh. go to the person next to you. Well, you know. there. So what do you think you, have you, what do you, what are your chances in the quest? I think they're pretty 
pretty good. Really? I've got to be confident. I can put some money on? Positive. Yeah, you've yeah. got to have a good attitude. Have a um, they, if I just be myself and be natural and just... Do you think that'll do it? I, I guess it could catch them by surprise. I hope so. <laughs> but a lot of the girls have been in training for so long. In training? Like Miss USA what, is in what sort of stuff, at the moment. What are they going to training for? Well, we have to fill out question sheets So they practice doing that stuff? Well, a, um, a couple of the countries get their lawyers, the girls get their lawyers to fill them out for You're them. You're kidding. No, I'm not. I'm not. What sort of questions? Like names? Oh, Excuse me, could I get my solicitor in here? <laughs> check this one. <laughs> Just stuff about ourselves and how we feel about, um, you know, has roles changed for women in the past years and what are our most childhood cherished moments? They vary. They so is it, is it the same as training for anything? I mean, do you get up early in the morning, crack raw eggs into the glass, put the theme from Rocky on, <laughs> get, get, get your evening gown onto the theme from Rocky? Dum, dum, no, it's not that bad, and... but we do have to look after ourselves. Yeah, I bet, I bet. I and how was the States? How was visiting the States? Oh, it was excellent. I went to Los Angeles for two weeks, uh -huh. and I stayed with a friend of mine who's a costume designer. <laughs> Don't listen to Anne Marie, she's a circle on the record. Anne Marie, have you ever been to America? Uh, yes, I did. Actually, Cartoon Connection went there last year, but I was saying about your national costume. I don't know why you just don't nick up to Dreamworld and borrow Cooey the Gun Nut Fairy's outfit. <laughs> because it's, it's fabulous. It's got these gold numbers down the side. You look sensational. Well, it's a thought, Georgina. If all else it fails, is. go as Cooey the Gum Nut. Thanks, Thank you for that, Anne Marie. We're going away. When we come back, we're going to debate this further. Corey will join in. Georgina sitting here casually with the koala that'll take her to victory. And the doll. And the Amory doll. Oh, and the Amory doll. Yeah, this how could we forget? A lot, eh? You're, yeah, no, Amory does talk yeah, a lot. You're right, Corey. Yeah. Hey, hey, listen, I, I hear it on good authority. Now, yeah. uh, girls, you'll be impressed by this. Amory. Yes? Corey actually excels in the almost zen art of dishwashing. Yeah, it's true. Not, not many per se. See, absolutely, I've done my prep. No, and I believe you actually wrote a foreword for a cooking book about your dishwashing. I can did. Can he cook? No, he no, can, he can dishwash. I can't Pay attention, Anne Marie. Oh, dishwash. Yeah. Now, how did this come about, I'll tell you. I mean, All right, do. Yeah. <laughs> it's a chat show that'll work. It's a chat show that'll work, right? I mean, I know that people think it's absolutely ridiculous, but if you get the dishes, you get and you right, stack them you straight can, in the dishwasher. Yeah, obviously, you should have a small family because it's easier. Right. Yeah. Um, um, but what if, if you, you have no family, well, then you have a. Um, what do you got, a puppet like yourself? No, no, she has... Hang on a minute here, Pally. Hang and, on. And marie you don't even have dishes at your place, do you? No, we, yeah, we, yes, we do. Yeah, we yeah you had to think that, didn't you? know why I said that? It's because, you see, Anne-Marie, what I thought is mm. when, when people play with puppets, you always, you know, when they're adults, you yeah. assume that they have some sort of, you know, imbalance or something. <laughs> hey, nothing personal here, Jordan. I don't want you to think that, you know. You're surrounded by girls with puppets here, Corey. Don't, don't push your luck on this. Can vote here, please? Yeah. That's so gratuitous. That, is, isn't that, isn't that, that is that's what we call curry favouring. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, right. You remember because you've been to India. That's it. Now listen, Georgina, if you win, if you win the big one, you get the title, you take it. What are, you, uh, what are we talking for the win? They put the crown on. Are you thinking tears? Are you going to go the tears, thinking right? Thinking tears, yes. Or are you just going to go, ha, 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 mine, mine, mine. <laughs> that too. Yeah. No, it'll be good. Um, it, the prizes are worth around 450,000 US dollars. Yes, 450, wow. you, you could buy Handy. Victoria. Oh, yeah. That's sensational. <laughs> and uh, so, okay, uh, contest is you over, you've won. So yes, what, do you, what do you have to do? You have to live in LA for 12 months. Tough and, gig. Yep, I can handle that too. And you also, also have to just be under um, the Miss Universe people and travel around the world doing interviews. All right, doing all that sort of stuff. Wait for them. Mm, okay, now, all right, uh, let's say that uh, Don King's done the promoting and you don't win. What? <laughs> what? What would what would you do then? What would you do instead? When I come back, yeah, yeah. I'm modelling full time now, so I'll keep oh, modelling. Okay. And I had a um, offer to go over to Los Angeles and do some acting. Oh really? So I'd like to get into some, to some acting here, get some lessons, and see how I go over there. Because uh, I met cool. a producer and he's making a film. Yeah, d listen. Yes, more. I don't like to break this too. No, but, I know, I know. But I know. you met a producer in LA and he said, "Yeah, I can get you into pictures." No, he didn't yeah, actually. Yeah. He's a yeah, no, it was He's okay. a nice person, though. He is. Mm. Corey, have you ever thought about acting? No, no, no. What's the problem with the cup here? They got the name wrong, right? Yeah, no, well, that's, it's the name of the program. No, it's the name of the program. Yeah. No, never acting, never theatre, never shows. You're protecting yourself like John Rivers, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Evil man. <laughs> Matt, no, no, nothing? No, I'm not what about I, your I find videos? I actressing. Uh, actressing. I find, I, find, I find... The talking thing I, I throws find, you? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I, I find acting uh, embarrassing, actually. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm you with you on that one. Yeah, it's kind of silly. 
But you like what about, you like, what about when you do videos, though? I'd like to give it a go. I just stick to performance right now. I, I did a couple earlier videos um, when I started out that were conceptual, but right now, I would just stick to performance. Really? Because that's unusual. I mean, in the 90s, sort of everyone does a video as part of their big sales thing. I didn't say I wasn't going to do video. Oh, you're going to do videos? Yeah, yeah, I've done videos, but I just do performance videos. Oh, okay. So it's like it's sort of a, the, the camera tracks around you as you're singing meaning play and absolutely all that. Absolutely right. And I do my mic technique thing again. It's become <laughs> yeah. No, I think that's become a bit of a, a standard. Famous, famous trademark of mine. Yes, yeah. yeah, so I think we're going to see the Corey Hark sta standard trademark. Oh, if it was English, it would have been so funny. Never mind. We'll go away when we come back. Ah, uh, you know where? Front page and stuff like that. <laughs> Welcome back. This is all going extremely well. Now, Georgina's about to take off and compete for Australia. Corey's about to, I don't know, after your promotional tour, what are you going to do after that? Well, the record's coming out, so I'm going to go back to uh, Canada. It'll, and, it uh, hits here in three weeks. Yeah, it comes out all over the world in three weeks. Okay. Except India, after I've just defamed Yeah, naturally, them. the Indian thing, you've pretty much blown that marketplace. <laughs> and uh, are you going to tour? Are you going to do live work? Yeah, definitely. I hope to be back here in Australia. I really like it here. Oh, great. Yeah. So you're gonna, we're going to get a chance to go along and heckle your gigs. Yeah, I like to come back and uh, work on my uh, lip syncing. Yeah, no, that works well. And Anne-Marie, your show bag hits town? Uh, no, in Sydney for the Easter show. Yes. Yeah, and I've got main event happening. And all that oh, that's stuff. right. Yes, you're coming up on the main event. Yeah. Nasty pressure for you, Emery. <laughs> I'm good at that, though. I'm good at that. What, do you pay attention to it and everything? Sort of. No, I try really hard. It Nothing hurts. personal, but if I was a home viewer and I found out I'm on the Anne Marie team, I'm, I'd be going on. I won the car for the people the last time. Really? What were you against? Agro? Yeah, really. Oh, uh, yeah. I think that says it all. Sorry, Naomi, we're busy getting gestured at. Have you got front pages for us? Yes, just one. Okay, do it. The Sydney Morning Herald says police in Perth have confirmed that there was no foul play in the death of Lang Hancock. The paper also features news that a refueler's strike on Monday is threatening to cripple Australia's airlines. So there you go. No, just what we need. Fabulous. Another, another strike. Uh, Georgina, um, how are you at flying, speaking of flying? Because you've got to do all those long distances. Do you go, have you got any tips to keep yourself... I just bought a Nintendo Game Boy and that's kept me busy. <laughs> that's the one that... I don't mind it. What about you, Corey? What about, when you're touring around, how do you handle long flights? What do you do? Oh, well, I just uh, eat all the food. Yeah, right. Eat all the food. <laughs> good idea, because everyone knows airline food's so nice and good for you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's way to go. Yeah, that's probably and you spat happen. out lollies. I just can't yeah. believe this. I thought you had... What about you, Anne-Marie? How did you survive the Fiji jaunt? Sorry? Oh, um... Yeah, she'll be good on the main event. Trust her. She knows what she's no, doing. I did pretty well. I just fell asleep and dribbled and, you know... All that Excellent. Sort of Very much like the show. So Frightening, really. Well. Come away from Anne-Marie now. We're leaving. See you later. Next week, all from London. See you later. It's been great. See you in a couple of weeks. Good night, Australia.